20 World Cup is coming to you. ABC Sport, your home of cricket. Can you believe it's been uh, about seven months since parts of the Wild Bay were hit by the devastating flooding? Um, one of the area's worst hit was, of course, Gympie, the CBD. Gympie Regional Councillor Bruce Devereaux is worried about how slow the main street is recovering with so many buildings empty. He tells our Fraser Coast reporter Lucy Law and what it was like to still see such a profound impact from the deluge. It's heartbreaking to be seven months later and we've still got so many empty shops. And I was just realising how many we've got. And I, I was saying to people, it looks like the street's dying. And they said, no, it, it, this was more than one. It looks dead. It looks like it's gone. It is our main street. This is the, the jewel in the crown, you might say. And to have it looking like that is just the saddest thing. It hasn't been this bad, I don't think, since Central opened. Uh, it was Centro back then. <laughs> And they, they actually guesstimated that 30 shops would be empty once it opened, and they were right. So we're pretty much on, it's the equivalent of a new shopping centre opening up and taking away all the trade. And it's going to take a while to come back. I do know that the banks are now back. I know now that, that we've got some people leasing the buildings, I've heard. So there are shops that are going to open. I know it's been dreadful. I mean, let's face it, we're gimpy, we flood. You know, our, that part of the street's flooded before. Not as bad in living memory, but it has done it. And usually it's, you know, a few months and they're, they're up. There might be one or two which are waiting for shop fitters. And, oh, it's just horrible. Mm. You counted something like 29 shops in 300 metres. So you're saying yeah. that you've never seen it that bad in, in all the years never. that Gimpy's been flooding? Never seen it that bad. And certainly not that bad after the event. And that wasn't all the empty shops. That was just between the lights... One corner and the next corner, basically. What impact does that have on the region? Obviously, like you said, it's your crown jewel, your CBD, your main drag. It can really make or break the economy in a, in a community, but also just sort of the, the feeling in the CBD. So what is the sort of feeling on the ground? Well, Mary Street was already suffering a bit um, and going through a, a, a change uh, because it used to be where everyone came to do all their shopping and then... You know, when the, the shopping centres, and we've got another one on the south side now, when they all open, people are going to those, they're air-conditioned and all the rest. So it was going through some sort of transformation already. And well, part of the problem is you, you see an empty shop, and just one, and you're, you're looking at uh, the owner of the premises, you're looking at the people who lease it for their shop, and you're looking at the people who work at the shop, and you're looking at the people whose businesses support the shop, even before you get to the customer. So you've got four levels of, of people that that one shop affects, and then you've got their families. So once you, you extrapolate that out just for the one shop, you've got a lot of people do it 29 times, and yet yeah, it, it affects a lot of people in town. So what is council doing to be able to try and rectify this or to try and help out CBD along and, and get back to at least, if not its former state, you know, at least not 29 businesses vacant in a 300 metre stretch. I, mean, I, I know that we're doing things like um, they can put off their, their rates, the, pre the people that own the premises, um, they can ask for a, uh, an extension. But uh, the problem with this is that it's not just Mary Street in this region. We had the, the big flood before that out for Mary Way, which, you know, we were told was two and a half years of damage done before that would be back to where it was. And then we had the February floods, and then we've had two more smaller ones since then. So, you know, council itself has um, a real trek ahead of it, a real job ahead of it to try and bring this up to scratch. Gimby Regional Councillor Bruce Devereaux with Lucy Lorum. ABC White Bar, yeah, just shows you, hey, that rebuild recovery it's taking time long a long long time